Hi, this is video one of three showing you how to use Cyberboard to play mostly war games online using play by email. There are three videos, not because it's complicated, but because you can use this in a very simple way, the way it's designed, and then the third one just shows you some of the other features. The three videos are meant so to keep it short. So, if you want to play online using email or Dropbox, you're going to need to get the program Cyberboard. Search for it online and you'll come to this website, Cyberboard. Cyberboard Brainiac.com. No www. Go here, downloads, click here to download Cyberboard. It's free. Okay, put it in a folder on your desktop. Then for any game you want to play, you need to get what's called a Cyberboard game box for that game. Um, many publishers provide them for their games. If not, you can just search for the title of the game, Cyberboard, and you'll get some websites that have dozens if not hundreds of different Cyberboards. For the demo, we're going to use Empire of the Sun. So I go to the GMT Games website. Here's the game, Empire of the Sun, online resources, Easy. Cyberboards, boom, click it, download it. All right. Once you have those two pieces, you're going to go, here they are in my Cyberboard demo folder. It's going to be uh, compressed, so you have to go here and extract it. When it's extracted, you'll have two different programs. One's called CB Play, one's called CB Design. Design is for making your own cyberboards. Most people will not use it. Cyberboard Play is for playing the game. So if you want to play the game, you double click on your CB Play icon and this will come up. Well, not exactly that. This will come up. This is what uh, Cyberboard looks like before you load any files. Uh, then you're going to go and go File, Open, go back to your folder. Here's my Empire of the Sun game box. Uh, the default here showing games. Click All Files. Depending what game you chose, you're going to have a certain number of files. This has more than most. Uh, judging by the extension here, you can tell what it is. You need this file. GBX is the game box for Empire of the Sun. Okay. GSN are scenario files, allowing you to start the game with the pieces set up for each scenario. Uh, game files are created games. In this first video, we're keeping it as simple as possible and we're going to play it without creating a game. You want to create a game uh, to use all the features and that's in the second video. So if we just want to play the game starting in 1942, highlight it, open your you're going to come to this, depending which game box you, which game you're playing. This may be blank. This is way more here than you usually find. But what we're always going to find is a playing board. Go here. Make it big enough so you can see it. Okay, there's, this is the at start setup. Looks to be after the Pearl Harbor turn. Uh, this icon up here toggles the board to three different sizes. There's ridiculously small. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with that. There's detail view. In some games you're going to play in this view the entire time because you don't have that much area to deal with. Here you probably want to go with the mid view. And there you go. This is then basically just what you're going to do is make screenshots uh, with the pieces being mobile. So say for example you're going to move this task force and to move a group draw a box around it. Let's say they're going to go down to here. To Manila, uh, this plane's going to rebase, and uh, we're moving up to Burma here. Oh, that's actually not a movable piece. Okay, here we go. These are all the moves you're going to make. Then the only other thing you really need to know is how to get the pieces. And that is here, A, B, and C, and the markers. These are toggles for counter trays. Click them on, click it on, click it on. There's all your counter trays. They're toggles, so if I click it again, it will go away. Okay? Now, if you want to get anything out of a counter tray, and here's everything that's available, including the cards for the game, uh, but say it's German turn, uh, 
rather, game turn nine, and their pieces, you just drag them right out and put them where they need to be. Uh, if you're showing your opponent what attacks you're making, go here, combat hex markers, I am attacking here, let's say I'm, I'm aerating here, and I'm attacking here, and let's say this is, this is air support from here, and he's also attacking. That's it. You got the pieces that move, you got the map, everything's set up for you, they're all movable, there's no AI, there's no weird clicking, it's just, here's your counters, to see what's in a tray, go here, and to send this to your opponent, you go File, Save As, call it whatever you want, you want to want to call it Japanese Turn 1, 1942, save it, and then send that file either via email or if you use Dropbox uh, to your opponent. When your opponent opens the file, he will see exactly this. He can then resolve the attacks, uh, do whatever he needs to do. Here's the flip the counter over thing. Um, and then he does his thing, sends you the file back. Now that's not the way it's meant to be played, but it's a simple way, and I run into people all the time who want to play who don't, who are afraid to learn anything more complicated, and just use it like this, just a way to make easy screenshots, and then they resolve the, the combats and draw the cards, if it's a card-driven game, uh, by using something called ACTS, and ACTS is this website. WarhorseSimulations.com acts, and here's there's a bunch of games you can play, and this uh, allows you to draw the cards. I have an account here, so if I go here, boom. These are the games I'm playing. These are the games that are available, and if you create a game here, it'll draw the cards for you, roll the dice, and that sort of thing. And every time you make a move, it emails everybody. Uh, who's playing the game. So it's a great thing. That's it. It's the simplest way you could use Cyberboard to play email games online. Uh, on the second video I'll show you how to really use it and create game files. There's a lot of advantages to that and I hope you'll follow along. Thanks.